in going to this uh, next set. Uh huh. Okay, this is a character that I can get quite in depth about. Um, so Luigi, obviously me being a main of this character, uh, I know in general how he wants to play against characters. He's like the way I describe him is a grappler Shoto type of character. This guy wants to grab. This guy wants to end your stock. There's nothing else he wants to do than end your stock. And uh, how do you do it? Well. You have to figure out a way to get the grab. And how do you get the grab? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do. Uh, fireball mix-ups. Uh, you can do Falling Zare to uh, throw a hitbox to block out projectiles. Um, and sometimes you can just raw dash grab. That's like another niche way of getting the grab. And uh, so far, um, we actually aren't seeing many of those. So uh, we'll see if uh, this starts to come up later in this match. Yeah, you, you can see PBE right now actually just throwing out a lot of the big hitboxes and throwing out a lot of force stuff right now, I guess, trying to end the stock. Um, but like you were saying, right now you're seeing Pev throw out some fireballs just to keep Terry away, but um, PB actually taking that first stock. And that was after a series of attacks that kind of was stuffing out Luigi. And I think we've only seen maybe Tev get... I don't think we've seen Tev get any grabs. I think we've only seen Zer so far. I like the usage of the uh, down tilt. Um, Terry goes through what I like to call a sort of kind of, I, I comically like to call it a twinkle toes effect, where his uh, up B kind of just goes past the ledge. Um, Luigi really likes that because of these down tilts. He can just keep mashing down tilts and you uh, just don't allow Terry to approach back on stage. Wow, yeah, that's perfect. And that dash attack killed. That was a. Uh... Yeah, that dash that killed, that was, that was, that was well, pretty um, carnival-esque, I, I, I have to say. Um, but that dash tech does send you at a pretty sharp angle outward. And um, and now we're seeing um, immaculate zoning coming out from PBE. This How is, long do you think it's going to last? I don't know, this is the kind of game gameplay you like to see. Um, over over or under five more power wheels? All right, let's see. Let's make this. Uh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say. Let's okay, okay. And this is. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Oh, 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 oh my God, bro! Oh no! Yo. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he. Oh my God, he lost the stuff. That's so disappointing. That sequence. That was the funniest thing I've seen. Out of all the games. That. And he missed, he actually missed the punish. And he's about, he's about to lose the second stop, dude. It's <laughs> pretty disappointing. That's unfortunate. Oh, he, mi he missed the, uh, it's, it's okay. I understand why he missed the, the jab lock. But yeah, after that fairy could have gotten like a jab lock follow up. Um, that is the wrong way, but that's okay. Wow. And yeah, right now, um, yeah, Teb is really kicking himself for dropping, dropping that big punish and you're about to get go moded by Terry, um, unless he rolls with that up smash. And now this is this is Luigi's chance. Luigi can do it. Okay, down throw, dare, nair, dare. Oh no, yeah, that percent oh, doesn't did. quite connect. And and PBE dropping that free punish. That was a free up smash. And now this is still a game that PBE can win, and you might have lost your stock. Alright, the dash tech again. Let's see if there's offstage commitment. A little bit. Oh, that rolling and that parry? No hard punish? They're both frightened. <gasps> Is that it? Down throw into Cyclone. That's it. Oh my that... god. The level of tragic drops in that game was incredible that was the first tragic drop was tev getting that that punish of the century and not letting the hit and then letting pbe take the stock and then pbe almost lapping lapping in percent to then not punishing luigi's up b missed up b zero to death and there is 
there is too much going on. There is. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say that that like perfectly sums up this entire game. It was just a miss to a miss to a miss. Oh my god! Uh, can you explain why you missed that? Um, yeah. So when you do the uh, the second jab lock, sometimes you can get like the coin up B instead of the strong up B. I usually stay safe. I like to do the first jab lock and then immediately up B. Um, or if I do want to get extra damage, I'll do second hit of jab lock. And then I'll wait a bit, and then go for it. Because when you do jab lock, they do kind of... I, I don't know how to describe it, but they kind of like flop around in their tech animation. Mm -hmm. And so, you want to make it so that they're like perfectly flat. Because that's when you get the sweet spot. Yeah, and that was... Oof, wow. Um, we're gonna go into... Um... We're gonna go into next game, going into Kalos, and I feel like right now that Tev has to have some type of emotional advantage going into this game. And are we doing a lag test, or is this just? I, I think this is just a standoff. <laughs> is it gameplay? Okay, gameplay. Um, yeah, and th you know what? This is kind of. <laughs> this is okay. So Cal Kalos, right? I know some people like to to camp the platforms, and right now Luigi um, camping the platforms is like pretty pretty worth for Terry to get up there. You know, do you really want to risk going up there and getting grabbed by Luigi and maybe zero to death? But uh, it seems like you know PB is turning the tables on that. Yeah, Ooh, that was that was a bad jump from. Uh... TV ended up getting gimped for it. Yeah, you got to you got to be careful with your recoveries. Yeah, that was that was that was definitely a magical first stop. Um, but now Te but now Tev is actually camping um, on the platform at a disadvantage. Um, interesting strategy. Yeah, definitely strategy that's effective. But here we go. Okay, gets the uh, sour spot back here. Unfortunately. Dash attack to set him off. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. And okay. Wow. Yeah. Getting getting the strong punish. All right. Sets him back off stage. Let's see. Yeah. I think those are just smart recoveries overall. Like up being at the right moments to avoid the zero kill, and that's it. That's gonna be three stocks to one. Okay, fireball again. Yeah, and trying to trying to break actually break a shield in that situation. Um, that that was actually pretty close to shield, shield breaking or shield poking. And right now, yeah, PBE is kind of running away with this right now. And yeah, back throw shield is stuck. Okay, yeah, and Tev getting stuck, and that's um pretty important right now to the stock differential and the score. So that's. You know, like every stock counts. Yeah. Speaking of every stock counts, we, we all know what Luigi's best known for. It's those grab combos. So let's see what will happen here. It seems like TV just having a little bit of trouble getting in. Yeah, and PB has no reason to approach in that situation. Right? They're actually the one in the lead. So if Tev wants to stand on the platform, PBE is playing exactly the right game when it's standing on the other side of the stage and not approaching. Because right now, the onus is on Teb to approach and find out what's happening. Or how to open up PB right now. Alright, is the back here. Yeah, it runs off the stage, not quite sure why. Probably just was a little too intimidated and didn't have enough room to dash away. Okay, back throw sent him off. Are we going to see again? Wow, no. Yeah. Going high. Oh, that was untakeable. Okay, that was untakeable. Almost losing the stock for that. Oh no, misses it. Okay, still has a jump though. Oh, it just yeah. runs off stage. That's it. Oh, yeah. okay, that's another stock. Yeah, Teb actually going for a jump and not getting the trump, but PBE still with the advantage. Um, there is one option left for Luigi right now. 
to get this W in the fastest way possible. And PBE, rightfully playing cautious. Okay, I respect the fact that uh, Tev is trying to not simply go for grab, like going for a couple tilts. Okay, that's it. And okay. that, that happened. That happened. We actually saw that happen. <laughs> that was... Yeah. So yeah, I mean that was I mean that was good stuff by uh, PBE. Um, mm -hmm. You know, not really pushing it, especially when Tev was really trying to bait them by standing at the other side of the stage, and PBE knowing that they're in the lead, and they knew they didn't have to do anything out of the ordinary to try to open them up. It, it would be totally on Tev's on um, in Tev's court to try to open up PBE, and you know that was smart. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And speaking of like opening up, you saw a lot of these like niche recoveries here. Um, really, I ironically, kind of closed off any options of uh, Tev getting those edge guards. I didn't see much of Zare usage, which is kind of unfortunate because I feel like that could help a lot. Um, that said, though, um, I like the grabs and I also like the uh, positioning with uh, like really well spaced back here. So I felt like his spacing overall was pretty decent. Yeah, that was yeah. a nice boost. Yeah, now actually, we've seen a lot of dash attack, um, dash attack kills coming out from Tev. Um, you know, I, I know you do see Luigi's put on a lot of pressure using that down there. I mean, using that down there dash attack, mm -hmm. but um, uh, like I think almost more than half of the socks taken by Tev has been from dash attack. So it's pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, dash attack is actually like quite a nice move. Funny enough, it actually got um, altered, I believe, in the 11.0 patch. Um, so there was a patch beforehand, which is the 10.0 patch, that made it so that dash attack could connect easier. But there's like this weird thing where it would kill heavies later. Or, I'm sorry, it would kill heavies earlier and kill lightweights later. Um, it had some sort of weight dependency. And they actually took this out in 11.0, uh, so it's a lot more consistent in terms of its kill percentage. Um, just great move in general. It's a great burst option if you uh, are having trouble uh, chasing down your opponent, or if you're having trouble tech chasing. Yeah. And do you do you think we're going to see a stage change? Um, to be quite honest with you, I, as a Luigi May myself, I would be pretty content with going back to, to Kalos. I don't mind that as a stage at all. I think it's very much FD-like. Uh, obviously, it's a high ceiling. But um, I think, in general, Luigi's have found out a way to navigate that. For example, Zaring into grab to get that niche percent for death combos is very good. Um, there's even this new one where if you get your opponent at around 12 or 13%, you can do Dare, Nair, and then instead of buffering the second dare, you actually time it. And if you mash fastfall after the second dare, you can actually get the up E. And it's phenomenal for covering any SDI. Uh, it's really, really devastating. Um, that said, the footstool thing from game one, yeah. That was wild. Never seen that before. That was wild. That was like, <laughs> that was, that was something that you worked on you worked on in training mode for 10 hours, bathed in Mountain Dew, um, soaked your feet in Red Bull, and was just like, I'm I'm laughing this all night. Like, that's that, the that's dev combo that was. And, uh, I'm, I'm gonna drink to that. <laughs> almost, like, and... <sighs> yeah, but we're gonna go into the next game. Oh, so we have small battlefield. Alrighty, so this is a good stage. Um, it's a uh, normal height ceiling, uh, which is pretty good for Luigi. Uh, I like that the platform placements are pretty close to mid stage. Um, for me, this is like better PS2, at least from Luigi's perspective, because you don't have the uh, the chance of getting gimped. Sometimes you'll side be under PS2, and then you'll have the trouble covering uh, vertically. But um, here, that's not the case. So uh, just counter pick overall, I would say. 
Yeah, I can see it. Um, yeah, and you know what? You know what PB has been doing a lot of? PB has been throwing out a lot of these, like, um, a lot of these big attacks with big hitboxes suddenly. And just like that, and Tev's kind of getting caught off guard. Because Tev is also going in. And, um, and, and in a situation like that, we have two aggressive players, and one player is throwing out hitboxes that take up compliments. Um, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it can get, it can get a little, little difficult. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're starting to see. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah. See, that's what I was talking about. I wanted to see more usage of Zero on ledge. That was perfect. Yeah. That, that was that was definitely good. Good Zero usage, and you know, you've been talking about that. You know, a lot. Just that. You know, uh, the Zero usage could definitely help out the Luigi, especially in the character like Terry, who's throwing out hitboxes the size of you know whole states. Um, but. Yeah, right now, and you know, PvE has been doing a lot of this zoning also, um, which has been actually keeping Tev at bay, more more or less. It yeah, certainly, certainly, he's definitely keeping him at bay. Um, that said, though, gets that nice little dash attack. Doesn't really get too much out of it. Um, yeah, they're they're keeping it pretty even. Um, from Luigi's perspective, I expect. Ooh. I was gonna say I expect jab blocks, but instead he said no. We're just gonna go straight for the F smash. Ooh. Yeah, and and I actually almost got another um almost got another there edge guard. And didn't get that grab punish. Oh no. Um now but now that's gonna be bad. Yeah, cherry and go mode. Didn't get that grab punch. It probably would have ended the stock. And um, now you're at the fear of wake up button. Yeah, certainly a wake up button, and we might see that wake up button now. Okay, gets the kill. Ooh, wake up down, told them to imagination, and now um. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe they thought. I think maybe they just thought they had to jump. I think that's, you know, it, it happens sometimes. I think you think you have a jump, you're mashing jump, your brain doesn't react, and now you're all of a sudden you're in the blast zone. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, I would say this is even, but that's a lie. And we're gonna see if that's a lie, okay? He tried to get the re-grab. That was actually a pretty good read, knowing that he would probably fall off the platform if he was doing that, with that combo. Alright. Keeping him out. Okay, that was a little bit of a risky side beat. He punished that. He was ready for that. Yeah, I noticed that as well. He was quite prepared for that. Yeah, and, and some of these blazing knuckles are just powering through these Luigi fireballs. <gasps> oh, oh! Did the oh. misfire screw him over? The misfire screwed him over. Uh, oh, you no. know, honest, honestly, <laughs> honestly, uh huh. I don't want to say. I don't even want to say it was a misfire, really, but I have to say, Terry having auto turnaround is hilarious. <laughs> that's that's. Right. Yeah, like he like there there was no there was no. Um, I'm I'm getting word that production is mad that Terry punched left, punched left, and then immediately <laughs> just punched right. And I have to share that same sentiment because in reality, he was just pressing the A button. And in reality, he still won that game. So good stuff by PBE. Putting more points on the board for um, George Washington University. Good stuff. Um, you know, and you know, also good stuff to Tev. Pretty, you know, it, that was a pretty um, hard hard fought game hard fought um games um definitely we saw some cool stuff we saw some um heart racing moments we saw uh, an attempt at the clip of a lifetime that <laughs> didn't get completed <laughs> but um nonetheless good stuff by both players um but we have george washington widening its lead even farther <laughs>